The Book of Ruth, it's a brilliant book of spiritual art. It invites us to reflect, to question how God is involved the day to day joys of hardships in our lives. The three main characters, the book, Naomi the Widow, Ruth the Mobile, and Boaz the Farmer. Four beautiful chapters. I see all this unfold. Chapter one. In this line, in the days of Judges ruled, reminds us of the dark, difficult days of Judges. Here for the Israel family living in Bataan, struggling to survive, search for food, and traveling to the Moab. Israel's father family dies, and the sons marry to Moab, Ruth, and, and the sons die too and see Naomi and the two daughters of law. She has Naomi as an old ways to stay. And she's moving back home. Naomi, she knows of a life or a widow of Israel will be very hard. She compels the women to come. Harpo agrees, Ruth does not uh, agrees. She shows mark of loyalty to loyalty. Or you go, I will go. Your people, people will be my people, and your God will be my, my God. To them, return to Israel. Chapter concludes, called Mara, better in Hebrew. She has a tragic fate. Naomi and Ruth discussing where they are going to find more food. And the beginning of the body for harvest. Ruth goes, goes out to look for food. What happens? Back in green, the fields, the, the field names means Boaz, and and Boaz is uh, Ruth's cousin, a man of a noble character, and shows remarkable generosity. And then we greet Ruth, can have a greens in his field, and Boaz, suspicious things of the Torah, and not doing the po of the poor. We were so, so impressed and praised for that God will, will bless for her and God will reward you for her boldness. And I met Boab, me, me Boab, and Boaz is their, is their family redeemer. Family redeemer takes a culture practice. If a man the family dies, left a wife or children, the family redeemer responsibility, marry that widow, take up the land, protect the family and the, and the land. Root is the hope of future of her family and Naomi. So Root stopped wearing clothes, a greeting widow. She also signs that she's available to get married. Root goes to the Mohab in the farm at night, approaches that night, and he's startled. It makes that just really clear. But your boys will redeem your family and marry her. And Boaz is married and loyalty to Yomi and the family. Called woman of noble character. Same term describes in the Proverbs 20 31. Wait till next day and I redeem, re re redeem both Ruth and Naomi. R Ruth and, and Marvel together and Naomi. Chapter 4 comes all together. The last minute, Boaz is a family member who's closer to Naomi, and then he is eligible for him to redeem the family. His family member finds out he's going to have to marry Ruth, the Moabite, and so he declines. Boaz, he knows real truth character, so he requires a family property of Naomi and marries Ruth. It's the big at the beginning, how Ruth was loyal to the old Boaz. Now Boaz is loyal to Ruth, Naomi family. And the re reversal of all the tragedies of the death of the husband, the son is all reversed as Ruth is married again, a new son, and jo getting joy to Naomi. And the conclusion is more remarkable. The opening tragedy. Act of loyalty of 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 root. It's not Boaz. Boaz, not act of loyalty. 
the resurrection, back to restoration in the divine in all chapters. Naomi and Ruth making a plan in the future, and that's followed by Ruth and Boaz. Each chapter concludes knowing Ruth and waiting for this. It's a beautiful design story. Very interesting feature of the story. How good little God is how it's mentioned. I care to talk about a few times that narrator never once mentioned God doing anything directly in the story. And that is what's the brilliance. It's so God's providence is it's everything province, every scene, it's every story. How the source of his characters, Naomi, strategy leads her thinks that God's punishing her, but actually God is restoring her her family. He's doing true to root and her boldness and loyalty. It brings healing to her life. And not without Boaz, as a farmer, fan of generosity and loyalty. He uses his integrity, kind of my root's boldness to make a family. It so really explores interplay of God's purpose and his human decision and his will. And God weeds the faith obedience of his people with then his purpose to life. It's the real end of the story. The Book of Roots concludes generosity and Ovid, the son of King David, come the lineage of the Messiah. All of a sudden, it's already new events in the story are woven to grand story of redemption of a whole. So this book of Ruth invites us how God will consider us in, in the ordinary, mundane details of our lives, as our lives as well. And that's what the book of Ruth is all about.